pet, a pet lifestyle coach, Megan Blake, is here. She's telling us why it's important that um, we be well informed. We make a good choice when we go in, and we, we have all the information we have when we're adopting a pet. Welcome. Thank you. And I'm this so happy is to be here. having That's a rough tiny. day. Yeah, he's just having such a good day today. Oh, he's made himself at home here. What a yes. sweetheart. Thank you. Smiley is an adopted dog, and he was actually turned into the shelter By two you. times. You adopted yes, this him. is my yeah. dog. This is my personal hero. Smiley is the national spokes dog for the Hero Dog Awards presented by the American Humane Association. Now, he was brought back twice? Yes, he was brought back twice, and there are a lot of studies that show that um, people, <sighs> when they adopt a pet, sometimes they always don't get the right pet for their lifestyle, and then they turn the pet back in, which we want to encourage everyone to adopt animals, but you want to make sure you get the right pet for your lifestyle. How do you do that? Well, there are lots of things you can do. First of all, you need to actually look at your lifestyle and what you expect from your dog. Like, uh -huh. do, you, do you want your dog to be a couch potato like, th like this right here? Or do you want to go jogging with them? Are you going to have children in your family? Are you going to have children maybe later on? Uh -huh. And what are your expectations for your dog? Do you want your dog to participate, to travel with you? There are lots of things to actually consider when you're getting a dog well, that's uh, right for your lifestyle. When you do this, will a shelter help guide you through that? Or will they sort of like pick one and go home? That's a really good question. First of all, you need to do this for yourself, because this is something that you need to look at as part of your life plan. Because uh -huh. dogs can be with you for 12 to 15 years. <laughs> oh, okay. He's oh, he's all right. Right. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. Okay. I it's think he dog. just adopted a new dog. Oh my God, he's, he's delicious. Oh, oh, yes, I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. Yes. And also, you want to take into consideration the cost involved, the training, because you sure. want to make sure that your dog is integrated into your household, and that takes a lot of training. There, there. Yes. Do you have children? I don't. Oh, I have, okay. I have two horses, two dogs, and a cat, and everyone. They're all rescued. Because I believe that rescued shelter dogs, they could just be amazing animals. As a matter of fact, in the Hero Dog Awards, which was last last weekend, um, the winner was a rescued therapy was a rescued dog, and now she's a therapy dog. Smiley's also a therapy dog. Mm -hmm. Smiley's a crisis response dog, and he's an advocate for pet adoption. You know, I find the, that uh, rescue dogs, for some reason, they seem to know that they they've been rescued. They act differently than the dogs that you buy from a breeder. Because they're I'm grateful. Too, uh, yes, Very they, are, grateful. they are grateful. They are. They know. They absolutely know. Smiley, as I said, was turned into the shelter twice, and it was at the West L.A. shelter. And when I went in there, all the dogs were barking and howling. But Smiley just had his eyes right through the bar. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him, and I you said, are you my dog? And, yeah. and I felt like he said yes. yes of course. There's a soul connection. Of course. Um, yes. Your love and your passion uh, was part of the reason you were standing on stage presenting recently at the oh, Hero Dog Awards. Yes, yes. Which, by the way, is coming up on a Hallmark Channel. We have a clip we want to share because I took part in this last year as well. And these animals are. They're not animal, they're people. I mean, they're just with four legs because they're so tremendous. Let's take, Absolutely. A, okay. let's take a look. Very cool. Very cool. Farrah Fawcett captivated the world and continues to inspire. And Farah loved animals. Her compassion for them struck me personally with the passing of my two dogs when she was the first to call us. Her great empathy was witnessed by the profoundly deep bond she held with animals. Even after Farah heroically left us, she inspired the love of her life, Ryan O'Neill, to bring a new love, a dog, into his home, which he adopted publicly on his television series as a statement for pet adoption. So please welcome to the stage Smiley's and my dear friends, Academy Award nominee Ryan O'Neill and Ryan and Farrah's son, Redmond O'Neill, to accept this posthumous inspiration award for Farrah Fawcett. Oh, it was such an honor to present to Farrah because she was such a dear spirit yes. who really did captivate the entire world. Well, so, and Smiley did well up Smiley. there. And oh, Smiley. too. <laughs> so <laughs> what a spokes dog. He's a good boy. <laughs> what are some of the questions you should ask the adoption personnel? Very good you... question. Well, if you have cats, for example, has this dog been uh, vetted with cats? If you have mm. children, has this dog been around children? And also, it's a good idea to find out if they're socialized with other dogs. What's their activity level, their age? Are there any um, problems with the dog like you might even want to take a dog trainer with you and do some tests like see if they're okay with their ears and their paws and their tail so you know the dog's personality as well as you can before you bring it into your home but so it's a lifelong commitment it go is. to an adoption shelter it's so important to to go in and and help out when you can and if it doesn't work out to br to make sure you bring the dog back to the shelter instead yeah. of letting the you know some oh. people just bring it to a pound or let it go and 
Don't do that. Right, no, don't yeah. do that, but we are hoping yeah. that they don't, they don't come back. Do of course that. you do. Yeah. That's the whole that's, thing, yeah. is to try to yes. get the right pet for your lifestyle, yes. but I understand yeah. what that's you're saying. That's why you ask the questions. Yes, that's right. why you yeah. ask okay. the questions. Hallmarkchannel.com forward slash uh, home and family, a place that you can go uh, to, to vi revisit some of the stuff that we talked about. And the Hero Dog Awards are going to air on Hallmark Channel Wednesday, the 30th of October, 8 o'clock, 7 central.